The, the chemistry between the two of you, was that something you had to work on? Do you know what, that's mad because everyone mentions this chemistry and we just kind of get on with it, don't we, and have a laugh. And, yeah. um, so I'm going to say no. But well, we are completely different, as people yeah, are completely this, different. you were saying this before in the car. And like, yeah. you know, we find different things funny, and yet when we work, apparently we bounce off each other. <laughs> so. Well, the proof, the proof is on the screen, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of you know you starting at Coronation Street, yeah, it, it must have been a, a shock to the system. It was insane. Yeah, I was on the bus when I found out that I got the part. I was on the bus home from college, which I finished last week. I finished my exams now. So oh, congratulations. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, it was insane. Like, cause I've been doing the two at the same time, but. You, you know, work really is... hard, aren't you, as well? And I think, especially coming in at Amy's age, I think it's a really, really, it's a lot of pressure because it's this new place. You've got no chaperone, you've got no help, and you've got to learn to do your scripts, learn to be on time, learn to be here. She's like done the driving as well while we're in the middle of it all, and you? you've Drivers done really well. But I'm. Um... I think it's I think it's kind of good if you get thrown in at the deep end because then you just kind of get used to it quicker like because you, you have to and it, it works so yeah and um, everyone says you know that the car is a bit of a family so I'm sure I'm sure there were people to help you out yeah definitely and that's what I noticed from day one yeah that's what I noticed from day one everyone's been so welcoming <laughs> no seriously it is a film it is a family yeah. yeah what's what's happening between you two over the, uh, the next you know couple of months um, see a, oh, okay. <laughs> um, starting to see a softer side to Maddie, warming up a bit, um, and we start working with Simon. Yeah, we start yeah. working with little Simon, and you start seeing probably a mature like you. You start seeing girls doing like babysitting that yeah. normal girls do, and the problems that can go wrong with it, and the and the highs of it, and it's it's yeah. it's just very it's relaxed real at the minute. Yeah, yeah, really real, and you know you see the jealousy between different characters as well, so that's really good, but the main thing is that you see the softer side to you really, isn't yeah. it? and I think you start noticing that as a character, and I think it mm. develops our relationship. We so. grow as people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are, you, are we you know, going to see a period of calm for the both of them? Hopefully, you know, since you started it's been very up and down and up yeah. and down, hasn't it? Yeah, because it's think, something else, yeah. I think they're selling us down for a bit, which is really good. Um, but you, you still see the, the, the background of your life, don't you? And you still see the problems that she has to go through to, to for something that's so normal for me to sit around and have a meal with my family. Like, she can't do that. Yeah. It's a bit. So. I think, yeah, that's why it's interesting with Simon, because all this stuff that's going on is post Tina's death, and he's really depressed with it all. I think that's why it's important, because Maddie can find that similar ground with him, because she's used to the troubled background, and she finds the similar... See, she, can't speak. she sees similarities between Simon and her little brother, so I think that's, that was important as well.